Hello everyone and welcome back to Souls Dane Dink. My name is Beth. Today is May the 2nd and Elena and I have officially completed our first middle grade book for middle grade May. Uh, we did start it a couple of days early, but we were listening to it on audio going back and forth. Uh, so it cheated a little bit. Uh, but we read Skullduggery Pleasant Playing with Fire, which is the second book in the series. We will be beginning the third book sometime in the next day or two. Um, I have not made any more progress on either one of the other books I started. I talked about them in my previous video. Uh, however, I do intend to read on both of them some more tonight. And um, I have an unboxing. So I thought it was very fitting that Between the Bookends came in today as this is one of my middle grade boxes. I wanted to share it with you. Um, if I can get it open because I'm not good at this and they have very well done boxes. All right, there we go. It looks like this when you open it. We've always got the pink paper um, and ooh, I don't want anything to fall out, but that's what it looks like. Some good stuff. This is plant your story theme. I'm not going to uh, look at the spoiler card any more than that, but we have a color your own flower bookmark right on top. Um, this is a four count vinyl sticker with little, uh, animals that have succulents in them. That makes me very excited. <gasps> Make your own seed bomb kits, butterfly kisses and dandelion wishes. So, uh, this has lightweight construction paper, wildflower seeds, and then you've got to follow the directions, yeah. but... All right, so this packet um, comes with um, construction paper, and I think there's, yeah, it feels like there are little seed packets in there as well, um, and it tells you how to make them. That's, oh, I can hear the seeds. That's going to be something fun for Elena and I to do together, and possibly Raylan, although... She's not quite three yet. So, ooh, what is this? No way. Oh, that's super cute. It's Heidi. Um, and it's, it's printed that way. How cute is that? Oh, maybe I should actually show the camera. That's adorable. Oh. I've never seen one like this before. Nifty. All right. I'm not going to let myself get distracted. Um, we also have Peach Buds Hard Candy with a Peachy Tang. Gluten free. This is by Butterfields. I love when they send us cool candy. Um, ooh. Ooh little ballpoint pens, black ink, and they've got um, little spring animals and flowers on them. An avocado poppet keychain. That's adorable. I'm going to keep that one. I'm not going to let the kids have it. I just finished the unboxing um, and at the end of it realized that it had cut off at some point. So this came out. These are Lucky Clover push pins, And I think I talked about them after it cut off. Um, so these are super cute. And my mom teaches at a school whose mascot is the Lucky Irish. They have the teacher's names up on like wooden clovers. So I'm going to give these to her. She's an art teacher. I think that she will very much enjoy displaying kids stuff. You guys saw these. And this, uh, pretty sure I talked about the seed bombs at length, the pictures, the avocado. So you didn't see this pin. Love that. It's super cute. This is an eye mask that is lavender rice eye mask with rice lavender buds, lavender essential oil. Um, it's really, really cute. The material's very soft and nice. Warm it up for 30 minute, 30 minute, 30 second intervals. And then we had the two books. 
So the two books we have are Jack and the Geniuses Lost in the Jungle by Bill Nye the Science Guy and Gregory Moan or Monet, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, the only issue I have with this is that it is the final adventure in the series. And I have never heard of or read the other ones as far as I'm aware. Uh, but basically, Dr. Hank Witherspoon has disappeared. Jack and his genius siblings find his lab ransacked. They uncover clues pointing to them to go to Brazil, but there are a bunch of questions like why was he studying dangerous electric ills? Who is trying to steal his inventions? Um, it says their investigation leads them to a soccer prodigy, his savvy sister, a business tycoon who zips around on motorized boots, and a strangely incompetent riverboat captain. In the depths of the Amazon rainforest, the three siblings and their new friends must overcome deadly piranhas, stealthy jaguars, and the dreaded trail of pain to save Hank and make it out alive. And the book includes cool facts about the story's real-life science and a fun DIY experiment. This sounds super awesome, and I would definitely love to find the other books in the series and read them. Uh, if you've read any of those, please let me know. I would love to know more about it. Uh, but I think that sounds cool and possibly could be a series that I would like to put in my classroom whenever I find out where I'm going to. The other book is Hello from Wren Lake by Michelle Weber Hurwitz. Um, now, some people say Weber. However, I used to both teach and work with people whose last name was spelled like this, and they said Weber. So that's what I'm going with. Uh, this is about a girl named Annalise Oliver. Her family has owned and run lakeside cabins in Wren Lake, Wisconsin for generations. This summer, with her younger sister focused on being an actress and her best friend babysitting rambunctious twin boys, Annalise is working and spending as much time as she can by her beloved lake. When she was three years old, Annalise discovered that she could sense what Wren Lake was thinking and feeling. Now at 12, she still turns to Wren for comfort. But when a small patch of algae quickly grows into a harmful bloom, Annalise can no longer hear Wren. She and her friends must find a way to save the lake. This is written from both perspectives, Annalise and the lakes. And it says, Michelle Weber Hurwitz tells a sensitive and heartfelt story about community, activism, and fighting for the things that you love. I am putting this on my TBR for this month. It's going to go over on the cart as soon as I finish the video, which I'm going to do right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you haven't checked out Between the Bookends, you definitely should. It is a fabulous box curated by a teenage girl and her mom. And they don't just have middle grade options anymore. They also have, like... For boys, for girls, for YA, for children, uh, they've expanded and everything looks fabulous. I highly suggest you go and check them out and I will talk to you again soon. Until next time, I hope that you are reading and that you stay safe.